What's going on, everybody? Hope you had a great Christmas. Today, what you're gonna see is a video that I actually made a while ago for the Amped Up Gauntlet Championship. You'll see how I finish in this, although you can probably already tell by the title. <laughs> but I'll show you how the day unfolded, what worked for me, what didn't, and I'll pass on some tips to you that'll hopefully get you in the zone and maybe I'll be competing against you in the next championship. So, if you like what you see in the video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And let's get to it. Well, folks, as soon as the power save function on my GoPro turned off my GoPro, <laughs> I had one pop it. And he actually missed it the first time. Oh, oh my gosh. But instead of setting the hook when he first missed it, I stopped, I paused, I made sure that he had it and he didn't. So I was able to keep it in the strike zone. Okay, got our own grips. And I'm actually gonna take this hook out, unfortunately. Otherwise it's gonna be in the way for measurements. But like a little pocket like this with this eelgrass, I'm dropping it on the eelgrass, bringing it out to the edge, pausing it, twitch, twitch, pausing it. And that did the trick. That's on the Tekle Honker. Ugh. Okay, not a big one, but it's good to be on the board. Well, assuming I don't lose this fish before I check it in. <laughs> Make sure they can see that the nose is up against the bump board fence. Okay, hopefully that becomes a clear pattern. Now today you'll get the phone treatment because I accidentally left the arm for my camera, my rear facing camera, my 360 Max at home. So hopefully that becomes a pattern. Not me forgetting my stuff. That particular pattern I just, or a particular hit just got from these fish. That they'll be underneath these reeds and eelgrass. And I can work it slowly off of them and find them. We'll see. Catch just got confirmed. Time to get back to it. Thanks, little buddy. There you go. So one of the really cool things about this gauntlet tournament was that the location of the championship was kept secret until the very end, like right before the actual championship. So this water that I'm fishing right here, I don't really know it. I've never fished this particular stretch of water in my life. I fish nearby, but not this particular stretch. So you'll see me throw in the Teco Honker. You'll see me switch up soon to an underspin with a Mega Bass Spark Shad. But let's get back to the fishing. Sorry again, folks, because it's been slow action. I haven't had my GoPro on, but I just got a really nice one. And she hit it and absolutely freaked out. God, I wish I would have had the GoPro on. <laughs> Man, that was awesome. On a spark shad on an underspin. And I, she absolutely choked it. Like there was no question in this fish's mind about whether they wanted it or not. These grippers and you got it. Okay. Okay. Now that's a nice fish. Not a dragon, but a quality fish. There she is, look at that. Look at the back on her too. That's a thick fish. Oh, buddy. Now this one has the lure nice and deep in its mouth. So I don't have to unhook her before I get this picture. And she's just under 26. Looks like 25 and three quarters. Flush, tag, fish, looks good. All right, folks, we're finally on the board with a quality fish here. She's about 25 and three quarters and just a thick puppy. Look at the thickness on her. Oh, what a fish. And man, she hit was so vicious and the jump was just incredible. Thank you so much, fish. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna show you the Mega Bass Spark Shad, if I can get it out of this fish's mouth. There's the hook. Okay, the hook's in the roof of the mouth. That's not too bad. Uh-oh, she's about to freak. She's about to freak. <laughs> there she goes. Okay. And there is the spark shad on the underspin. Beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna get it washed off, get one more shot of her. Get that catch confirmed, and she'll be out of here. Look at that, will ya? Beautiful fish. God, what a specimen. Kyle's pulled ahead. Cut it out, Kyle. <laughs> I'll see you when you're 30 inches. Let go. 
But you gotta let go, dude. Let go. Let go. There you go. Woof! There he goes. <laughs> Now I caught that fish fishing between the inside edge of a grass field and the shoreline. But I also wanted to point out that I really needed an anchor today. It was really crucial to my success because the wind today was blowing. Had I not had an anchor, it would have made it really hard to fish because I would have kept drifting into the waters that I wanted to fish before I even got a chance to. Just had one to go for it and miss it. Right there. Oh! What the What are you doing, snakehead? Come on, take it! No. No, I don't think I will. Oh, son of a... So my frustration with these fish aside, the day was actually a really tough bite. Even though I only have two fish on the board at this point, I'm still in second place. First place has three fish on the board, but all I really needed was a 20 inch fish to pull into first place. And I still had some time. Let's see how it went. Final minutes of this tournament. I'm in second place. I need a 20 incher to come into first. Oh God, I think this fish is just short. I think he's just short. Oh, please be at least 20. Please be at least 20. Folks, as I feared. He's only 18. Back to it. I got four minutes. So while I got real close, the best I could do on this one was silver. <laughs> so much congratulations over to Kyle for taking first place. In third place after me, we had Eddie Weber, Neven Reeve in fourth, and Nicholas Vega Cruz in fifth. Thanks very much again to the Amped Up team for always putting on a great event full of camaraderie. I can't wait to fish their tournaments next season. You can see a link to their page as well in the video description here. If there's anything I didn't cover, anything you'd like me to expand on, always let me know in the comments section. And again, if you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe, and have a good one.